Hi, today we are going to be answering another question from our Instagram handle. This one goes thus. Good day, Friska. Please, I would like to know if you have any products that I can be taking so that I will just not fall sick. I'm not diabetic. I don't have high blood pressure. I don't have any of the ailments, but I just want something that I can be taking that I will not just fall sick and I'll be okay. Thank you. This is a bit tricky. First off, there is nothing that guarantees that one can never fall sick at all. The only thing that comes close to it is the immune system. And I'll use this opportunity to explain how it works. So the immune system is your body's defense mechanism. It is what Nigerian army is to Nigeria. So every day you are exposed to germs and different types of infections. Your immune system works so that you know these germs don't get into your body. It works so that you don't get infected and so that you don't fall sick. So if for any reason the enemy is able to break your country's defense system and goes in, they will enter, multiply and weaken the country. The same thing with diseases. If these diseases are able to break through your immune system, they get into your body and weaken you and make you fall ill. So just like the army is made up of soldiers, the immune system is made up of white blood cells. Now, for every army, each soldier has a specific function. The same thing with the immune system. There are the phagocytes. These are like your typical infantry in every army. They face the enemy, in this case antigens, they face them head on and they either consume or they are consumed. Then there are the lymphocytes. I call them the advanced party or scouts. They search the body for infection. Once they get the signal that there's infection in a particular point, they move in and work towards destroying them. Then you have another set, the phagocytes. These are like your armor and artillery corps in the typical military. They quickly study the enemy for the kind of weaponry and their style of combat, and they come up with weapons, antibodies, that can be used to fight these antigens, which are the enemies. And, this. and then after neutralizing the enemy, they keep these arms and ammunition in the body for future reference. Now, what happens during immunization is very simple. It's a case of taking a known enemy that has been weakened, bringing it to your military and allowing the phagocytes to study it and understand the kind of weaponry that it's using so that they can create the arms and ammunition so that when that enemy comes in the future, they are better prepared for fighting that enemy. That is why it is advisable to get immunized for as many diseases as possible. Just as the strength of any country is in the size of its army, the strength of your health also lies in the strength of your immune system. My advice is you take deliberate steps to ensure that your immune system is top notch and you constantly take, do things that will boost your immune system. And you can do this by taking any of our Frisca Herbal teas because they are all rich in antioxidants. But if you want to be specific to your immune system, then you should take either the wellness tea or the cinnamon and hibiscus tea because these were designed specifically for boosting the immune system. I hope this helps. Thank you.